Have you ever wondered how India, once dependent on imports for its defense needs, is now on its way to becoming a global defense manufacturing hub? The answer lies in a story of resilience, innovation, and strategic planning. Diardo's new missile is another significant milestone to redefine army's power as India gets Pralayankari, a weapon against Pakistan and China. Before we dive in details, please subscribe to the channel and stay always one step ahead to know all global important events happening around you. Give a thumbs up and share the video with your family and friends. Let's move on with the video. The Indian Army is soon going to get another powerful weapon that will boost the military's firepower against threats like Pakistan and China. Today, India achieved a significant milestone by conducting a successful test of the Pralay, a surface-to-surface short-range ballistic missile, SRBM, from the Abdul Kalam Island, located off the coast of Odisha. Developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, this missile is a crucial addition to India's defense capabilities, primarily focused on safeguarding its borders adjacent to China and Pakistan. Pralay has been developed for deployment along the Line of Actual Control (LAC) and Line of Control (LOC). Pralay missile can be compared with China's Dongfeng-12 and Russia's Iskander, which was used in the ongoing war with Ukraine. Pakistan also has tactical ballistic missiles in its defense system. During the launch earlier today, the missile flawlessly fulfilled all its mission objectives, according to a defense official. The trajectory of the Pralay missile was vigilantly tracked by a battery of monitoring instruments along the coastline, reaffirming its accuracy and efficiency. Pralay is a 350 to 500 km short-range, surface-to-surface missile with a payload capacity of 500 to 1000 kg. The solid fuel battlefield missile is based on the Prithvi defense vehicle with PTI inputs. Join us as we navigate through the timeline of India's defense growth and explore how it is charting its path towards self-reliance. The journey of India's defense growth began soon after its independence in 1947. As the newborn nation grappled with the complexities of sovereignty, the seeds of self-reliance in defense were sown. The early years, from 1947 to 1970, marked the genesis of India's defense manufacturing. In the initial years, India was heavily reliant on imports for its defense equipment, but the visionaries of the nation understood that for true independence, India needed to be self-reliant in defense. Hence, the country embarked on a journey to establish its own defense research organizations and manufacturing units. The Defense Research and Development Organization or DRDO, was established in 1958. This marked a significant stride towards indigenous defense manufacturing. DRDO began with a focus on the research and development of defense technologies. Its formation signified the country's will to develop its own defense capabilities, rather than relying on foreign imports. Simultaneously, the country started setting up factories for the production of basic defense equipment. These factories were primarily focused on manufacturing small arms and ammunition. The Ordnance Factory Board, established in 1954, began to produce artillery guns, tanks and armoured vehicles. The 1960s saw India making steady progress in its defence manufacturing capabilities. The country began to manufacture its own fighter aircraft, the HF-24 Marut, which was a significant milestone in India's defence journey. This was a testament to India's growing self-reliance in defense manufacturing. However, it wasn't just about the production of weaponry. India also invested in human capital, training and education. The establishment of the National Defense Academy in 1954 and the Indian Military Academy in 1960 were crucial steps towards creating a skilled workforce capable of leading the defense sector. The early years were not without their challenges. The country faced hurdles in technology transfer, lack of infrastructure, and a dearth of skilled manpower. Yet, these formative years were crucial in setting the stage for the future. The early years laid the foundation for the growth trajectory that India's defense manufacturing would follow in the subsequent decades. These years helped India establish the groundwork for a self-reliant defense sector, a journey that would continue to evolve in the coming years. The period from 1971 to 2000 marked a turning point in India's defense manufacturing. 
This era was one of bold strides and significant developments, a time when India carved a niche for itself on the global defence platform. Let's take a step back in time to 1971, when India was still finding its feet in the world of defence manufacturing. The landscape was dotted with challenges, but the nation was determined to overcome them. And the first step in this direction was the establishment of the Defence Research and Development Organisation, or DRDO, a body that would go on to become the backbone of India's defence industry. As the years rolled on, the seeds sown by DRDO began to bear fruit. The 1980s saw India take a leap forward in tank manufacturing. The country produced its first indigenously developed tank, christened Arjun. This was a testament to India's increasing technological prowess and a clear signal to the world that India was a force to be reckoned with. The 1990s brought with it a wave of innovation. The focus shifted from tanks to more sophisticated defence equipment such as missiles and helicopters. India's missile programme, in particular, flourished during this time. The successful development and production of the Agni and Prithvi missiles marked a significant milestone in India's defence journey. Throughout this period, India's defence policy played a crucial role. It was a policy that encouraged self-reliance and gave a boost to indigenous manufacturing. The government's push for Make in India in defence production was a clear testament to this. The turn of the century marked a new era in India's defence manufacturing, with the country making strides towards self-reliance. The journey had been challenging, but the results were worth it. India was no longer just a participant in the global defence industry. It was now a formidable player, ready to take on the world. The 21st century has seen India take a leap forward in its defence manufacturing capabilities. With the dawn of the new millennium, India embarked on an ambitious journey to transform its defence sector. From the production of basic defence equipment in the early years, the focus shifted to the manufacturing of advanced defence technologies. The period from 2001 to the present day witnessed a significant increase in the production of cutting-edge defence equipment, be it the mighty battle tanks, the roaring fighter jets, the precise missiles or the stealthy submarines, India's defence manufacturing portfolio grew in leaps and bounds. At the heart of this transformation was the Make in India initiative, launched in 2014. This powerful campaign aimed to turn India into a global manufacturing hub, with a special focus on defence manufacturing. It encouraged domestic companies to innovate and produce world-class defence equipment. The initiative also welcomed foreign companies to set up manufacturing units in India, thus promoting technology transfer and fostering a culture of research and development. The result was evident. Indian defence companies, both public and private, began to produce advanced defence technologies that rivaled those of the advanced nations. They not only catered to the domestic defence needs, but also began to export to other countries, thus marking India's emergence as a potential global defence manufacturing hub. Yet, it was not just about the numbers. The quality of the equipment produced was on par with global standards. The defence equipment, manufactured in India, began to gain recognition for their reliability and cutting-edge technology. This enhanced India's stature in the global defence market and boosted the confidence of the Indian Defence Forces. Today, India's defence manufacturing sector is a vibrant ecosystem, brimming with innovation and driven by the spirit of self-reliance. It is a sector that has embraced the challenges of the 21st century and turned them into opportunities for growth and development. And so, today, India stands on the threshold of becoming a global defence manufacturing powerhouse, self-reliant and ready to meet its own defence needs. The journey of India's defence growth is a testament to its resilience and its unwavering commitment to self-reliance. This growth story has been marked by significant strides in defence manufacturing, with a notable shift from dependency to self-sufficiency. From being an importer of defence equipment, India is now on the brink of becoming a leading global exporter. Yet the road ahead is not without challenges. The pursuit of cutting-edge technology, investment in research and development, and building a skilled workforce are critical components of this journey. The need for partnerships, both domestic and international, also presents an opportunity for growth and innovation. Moreover, India's strategic location and its commitment to peace and security in the region make it a promising player in the global defence arena. As India continues to chart its path in defence manufacturing, 
the world watches with anticipation, ready to witness a new global defense powerhouse in the making.